What's your feelings on mumblecore movies? Um, I'm for them. I would say I'm for them. I like a Duplass Brothers film. I find myself affected by their, their quiet sentimentality. No, mum, mumblecore rapper is like... It's like a, that's a, a drill rap that's quiet. Mumblecore film is like, um, they star Ray Romano in his 50s, and it'll be about, like, I don't know, his best friend dying, or something like that. <clears throat> or alternatively, like, a clone of your spouse being made, and then you have to choose between the clone and the real one. Why do old guys enjoy golf? Um, the older you get, like, when you're young... People um, don't bother you that much. I mean, like, like the existence of other people might bother you, but it's not like, you know, as a 15-year-old, you're constantly being asked, like, hey, do this. Hey, your electric bill just came in. Hey, um, uh, you're just trying to get to work, and then, like, people are cutting you off on the highway and stuff like that. I'm not saying you have a, a necessarily a less stressful life, for sure, but, like, on average, yeah, probably the average 15-year-old's life is, like, more unfettered than the average 50-year-old's. I think when you reach a certain age, it's nice to be, to, to have a good excuse to be outside for two hours, two and a half hours, and be unbothered. Maybe you don't have the best game of golf at all time, but you know, while you're out there, your phone's on airplane mode, um, you, you can't be asked to do anything. It's like, I think it's like the same reason like why I started enjoying flights when I got older. First is, oh, I have to sit in a chair for six hours. Oh, it's so irritating. Now, like the night before a vacation, when you're getting everything prepped and packed and making sure you got all the bills paid that are going to come due while you're away on vacation to actually just like be on the plane and nobody can bother you. You just put on a movie. The only thing that bothers you is the bilingual in-flight announcements that constantly uh, interrupt your, your kino cinema, watching Dunkirk on a four-inch screen while also watching um, Mike and Dave need wedding dates with no sounds in between the seat backs in front of you because you're watching it on the person in front of you screen, the way Christopher Nolan intended. Two in a row there, Flying is terrible because in most cases it's pretty much your whole day. Yeah, but you're traveling like probably thousands of kilometers. Like, it used to take you... I'm not saying, like, oh, back in the day, people used to get their legs amputated. So, like, you should just be happy that you have diarrhea. I'm just saying, like, you know, how is flying the worst? It's better than, like, literally every alternative. Like, if you're going from Seattle to New York City, what, what, what's your preferred way to do it? Because you said it's the worst. You didn't say it's not fun. You said it's the worst. Okay. Then fucking drive. It'll take you four days... It'll cost you $500 in gas, and you can't watch a movie while you're doing it. High-speed rail? High-speed rail would still take you, like, if it existed in America, which it doesn't, it would still take you, like, three days to get from Seattle to New York City. Country's wide as hell. I live in South Korea. The, the KTX is amazing. You know, it's, it's awesome to just sit. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. You're basically just sitting in a chair, like, versus flying. That being said, to get from Seoul to Busan takes like four hours or something like that. But the country is only like a five-hour drive from tip to tail. The U.S. is just, uh, I mean, it's, it's built different, man. It's a wide boy. Trains are nice because they're smooth. Uh, you know, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> a flight is pretty smooth. Occasionally you get, like, turbulence, don't get me wrong. And very, very, very occasionally you get such violent turbulence that people without their seat belts get thrown up against the overhead compartment. All I'm, this is anecdotal. All I'm going to say is I've flown 100 plus times and I've never seen it. I would say at least 70% of my, the flights I've ever taken have had no discernible turbulence at all. Maybe a little bit of light rumbling. And then like 25% of the remaining 30 have had enough turbulence that they tell you to put your seatbelt on for some of the flight. And then like five in a hundred flights, you're kind of like, this thing's getting a little bumpy. But also, also like most of the times that I've ever been worried while flying has been my own paranoia. 
Like the first few times I flew, you would like sit in the chair and you'd be like, that smells like industrial coolant. That smells like industrial lubricant. Is everything okay? Like you're, you're debating, like, am I going to put my hand up and be like, excuse me, flight attendant, is that smell normal? I kind of smell like, I don't know, like maybe one of the engines is on fire or something like that. You'd like to think that maybe the pilots would figure that out during the pre-flight checklist or whatever that takes 90 minutes. Also, I don't know if this is like troubling, but like when I was younger, let me preface this by saying I don't want to die. But when I was younger, I was like terrified of dying in a plane, cl plane crash while flying. Nowadays, I'm just like, I'm more at peace with it. I'm like, you can't, it, they're, they're highly rare events. If I'm up in the airplane and it ex experiences explosive decompression or something like that, it's, it's my time. What can I do? I'm not gonna, you know the, the two by two grid? What happens if you worry? If you worry and something happens, you suffer twice. If you worry and it doesn't happen, you suffered once for no reason. If you don't worry and it happens, you suffer once for good reason. And if you don't worry and it doesn't happen, you didn't suffer. I'm not saying forehead, just don't worry. But I'm saying, you know, if you think your, your worry is somehow adaptive, if you're like, oh, I need to worry just in case, what, what, what's my game plan in case the fuselage of the airplane separates in half while I'm flying? Don't, don't feed that beast, okay? Feed the beast of, what if it doesn't happen? What movie am I going to watch on the airplane? I will say my only hope, if I'm ever involved in like a, a plane crash situation, because some plane crashes happen like fast and you just die or you, you go unconscious and then you die in like a couple minutes. But some of them are like, you know, like a boat sinking, like you know something's not right, but the pilots can kind of like almost save it and then you got to descend like 25,000 feet before things really get chaotic. But I just hope that while the plane crash, if I'm in a slow one, while it's happening, I just hope they keep the in-flight entertainment system on. Because I want something to like distract myself while we're plummeting. I don't want to, if I'm going to die anyway, like I don't want to be scared while I'm dying. I just want to like, what, keep watching the rest of my movie and then like you know I know in my head like uh, it's over but at least I'm not gonna go out like afraid or as afraid <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna fucking die watching X-Men Apocalypse man Oscar Isaac what are you doing did you by the way I didn't know this did you know White Chicks is actually filmed in Vancouver I'm not even messing with you and I watched it like a few months ago and for the second time, I might add. I, uh, I didn't even notice that it was Vancouver. They hit Vancouver really well. But then someone said they filmed this scene on the beach and it was like the middle of winter and everybody involved with the production got a cold. That was just you don't right. catch a cold by being cold. I know that like, here's the thing. Catching a cold is obviously caused by germs. I'm not like a anti-intellectual, but I... I genuinely, I, I mean, I say this as if it's like I'm coming up with something revolutionary, but I think most people agree if you're cold or like at least cold enough to be uncomfortable and shiver, I think it makes it, it makes you more susceptible to illness. Sa similarly, if you're tired, yeah, if you got like three hours of sleep and you're uh, iced out, I think you're more susceptible. Weakens the immune system somehow. I don't know how, I'm not, it's not my area of expertise. The white the blood cells get tired. So true. Can you fight the infection? But I'm let tired. Okay, take a nap and then fight the infection. Constricted blood vessels equals for, harder for your body to defend against germs. Is that the truth? Is that also why like when you, I, like I'm in good cardiovascular shape. But if I, if I sleep well, going up like two flights of stairs quickly is just another day at the office. If I don't sleep well, I'm huffing and puffing by the time I get to the second flight. It's interesting. I don't know. I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear some people's thoughts. I mean, some people, aka doctors, I suppose. Hang on, club up me? Listen, I mean, maybe I, I think this is rife for like question marks, but I, I mean this sincerely. 
the main effect, the main symptom of tiredness that I get when I don't sleep well is uh, like cognitive. I feel like a little slower um, mentally speaking. I might have like a headache or something like that, a uh, little brain fog. I had never really considered that like one of the physical effects of being tired is that like your heart has to work harder. I never, I never considered like your circulation gets worse when you're tired. I'm a doctor and you're right. You're not a doctor because if you were a doctor and I hit you with that question, you would say we're now booking appointments to answer questions in fall 2024. Um, could we interest you in an appointment? If you say yes, it'll be 14 months before we answer your question. If you say no, it, it could be 18 months. It could be 24 months. You may never get your question answered. I'm a security engineer and you're right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Perfect. A little, a little bit of a, a Kimbo slice there. Oh! Imagine if I hadn't drawn like a, a double base with my stroke, man. Why did he say upcoming like that? Oh, I was too conservative. Now my kids won't talk to me. Can I tell you something in confidence? And I, I don't want you to take this in bad faith. I've been having a, a, an internal crisis that is comedic and also um, not tragic, but serious. I'm an idiopathic toe walker. I walk on the balls of my feet. So does noted speedrunner Small Ant. I'm, I'm giving you the preamble here while I do the banter, okay? Small Ant made a post about it on TikTok like a year ago and then tweeted about the reaction to the post and was like, TikTok has diagnosed me as being on the autism spectrum as a result of my idiopathic toe walking. And I said, I know the feeling, brother. I get that all the time. Then like a year later, he followed up and said, it was actually autism. <laughs> At which point I said, oh shit, word? Really? Um, so in the back of my head, I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe I, I, I have some proclivities that one might consider to be typical of autism. I have no problems making eye contact. Um, I, I can, I, I converse well and I don't get like nervous really in social interactions and stuff like that. But I definitely, like I like a routine. Like I gotta be one of the only people who watched The 40 Year Old Virgin and Steve Carell's life before he started experiencing romance kind of looked like romantic to me. I was like, wait a minute. He wakes up the same time every day. He exercises. He plays video games. He goes to like work. He wears the same clothes. He rides his bike home. He plays some video games, sings some karaoke, goes to bed at a reasonable hour and just does that. The, anyway, so that's the definitely I'm, I'm big on routine. But then I was I, I took like and I know that these are not valid really, but I took like an online self-assessment and it was like, you never know, you should probably see a doctor, but we would say that you don't really have what we would consider like the foundational characteristics of being on the autism spectrum. And I was like, okay, that's, I, 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 I'll settle that. Then I was watching Love on the Spectrum and uh, Michael was on a speed date with somebody and he said, may I ask you when you were born? And she said 1997, and he said 1997, nice. That's the same year Men in Black came out. And I was like, I need a fucking autism self-assessment or a, like a, an actual assessment from a doctor, because that's me. <laughs> I, need, I need a professional to weigh in on this, because I've seen a mirror on this television program. Um, so I emailed a, a psychologist who specializes in it, and... Uh, they said, yeah, we'd be happy to. We're booking appointments for winter 2024 right now. And I said, eat shit. I didn't say that, but that's the first thing I thought of when I opened the email. Eat shit. You think I'm going to pay you $3,300 for a, an autism assessment in 14 months? Have you lost your mind? Winter is January? No, in the email, it was like December 2024. <laughs> I don't think it really matters either way, by the way. 
Like, I don't think fame would change me. But it would just be nice to, I don't know, rather than ask myself or, God forbid, Twitch chat, it would be nice to have a doctor be like, here's my opinion, even though the doctor's opinion could also be wrong. Do you ever design traps in your head? Wait, are you... Okay, is this like a real thing, or are you trying to make me out to be Jigsaw? <laughs> like a pit full of used syringes or something like that? Or like uh, putting like a helmet on somebody that slowly puts a knife into their eye unless they dig into their own orbital bone and, and get a key to free themselves from the, the very thing that was going to damage their eye in the first place? Saw trap tier list? It's weird because I've seen all the Saw movies, I, or at least like five of them, but I c almost couldn't tell you any of the Saw traps. I, I get them a little confused with Escape Room. Which, which franchise is the one where they have the room where... Or maybe I'm thinking of Survivor. <laughs> Isn't there one where there's like... They're all, there's like six people and they're all locked into a harness uh, that has like a bungee cord on the back of it. And then there's keys at like the end of each of their lanes. So as like one person starts to get closer to the key, it pulls the, the other people like into a pit of liquid hot magma. Okay, that's from Saw 5. I'm just going to tell you that's got to be number one. You guys are cooked. Without a doubt. <laughs> if, you're <laughs> if, you're, if you're going up against me in the sledge pull on Saw, I'm making... You should honestly... If you're in Saw... You should basically just root for a, a quick death. So that might not be the way that you want to go on the outside. But like if you open the freaking key, it's, just, it's not that you're free from Saw. He's just going to give you like another more devilish trap coming up. So if anything, I don't even know if I would want to win. But I'm somewhat competitive. I don't know if I could stop the impulse. You know, I, I, I don't think I would do well on Survivor. I'll, let me explain why. <laughs> um, I don't think that the other castaways would like me. Probably because I'm not neurotypical, but that's their own thing. You can't control other people's reactions to you, okay? So there's, that's a big uh, X for me. I don't think that I'm going to have a good chance of winning. I also, when it comes to the challenges, I, I think psychologically I could outlast many of the competitors but a lot of those first puzzles are like, um, or first challenges, I should say, are like strongmen competitions plus obstacle courses plus a jigsaw puzzle at the end. And I can't, I'm not, I might be strongish, but I'm not the strongest person on Survivor. They usually get like a couple of dudes who look like Marvel action stars. And an obstacle course, I'm okay, but I'm not going to be the most agile person. They usually have like some, you know, triathletes or something like that. And the puzzle is just no shot. So the only way, I guess, you know what I could do? VIP Daniel, what do they call it when you're a, um, when you're the person that never gets voted out because they know if you make it to the finals, you're, you'll receive zero votes? A goat. Thank you. I think I, I might be able to make it as a goat. And then usually in like the final four, they have some sort of torture competition. That's like, who can hold in their shit the longest? And then you're going to regret having underestimated me. Because I'm going to hold my shit in forever. And then the two strongest motherfuckers are going to have to make fire against one another. That means one of them's gone. And then all I got to do, because the final challenge is actually not a challenge. It's answering the jury's questions. And I think I could answer the jury's questions in a way that might influence them to vote for me. They'd be like, hey, you didn't really play a good game. Why should I vote for you? And I'd be like, I'm just a little dude. I'm just a little dude. I don't know. I was just trying to... I'm just a little guy. shot I've ever made <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> it's an insane shot what about the physical aspect of survivor this will sound like copium but like the the day-to-day -day drudgery of, of survivor I think I could do okay because I'd like I can tolerate some degree of suffering 
You know, I'm not like that customer from Jay Willie's on Kitchen Nightmares who started crying because she got sourdough bread instead of a, a hamburger bun. I would be like, whoa, bread burger. Lol, you guys seeing this? Like, I, it would be worth losing the bun in order to get the story. That's how I feel about it. So as long as we were all suffering, I think I would, I, I could keep morale up. You'd be looking like Larry from the Three Stooges. They've, excuse me, there's been bald contestants on Survivor before. And they do, like, in a month, I would not be looking like Elliot Spitzer, okay? I would be, you would definitely see my hairline, but it wouldn't be like George Costanza. Thoughts on people watching you during school when they should be paying attention instead? It is really funny to think that, like, I'm just here, like, this is, like, nothing content. No disrespect. But, like, I, I also watch nothing content on Twitch. But it's not appointment viewing. It's like I sit down on my computer and I have something else to do. And I'm like, let's watch somebody play a video game while talking a little bit. It's not like, oh, at 9.21 a.m., the premiere event of this Friday is happening, right? Like, it's, I'm just here. It's like, a, it's like turning on the radio. Like, this is, it's a live stream. It's constantly flowing. When you're here, turn it on. The fact that somebody would be like, I'm going to watch this instead of something important in my life is kind of crazy. I, I completely understand um, avoiding things that are annoying. Like I'm never more productive domestically than like I am in the first three months of the year when I'm procrastinating sending all the documents to my accountant so they can start preparing my tax returns. Like right now it's the summer, we keep a clean house. You know, we, we both cook, we both do the dishes, do some lawn maintenance, you know, take care of the baby, tidy up. There's a lot of tidying up to do when you got a toddler because they're constantly throwing stuff everywhere. But then like when it's, sometimes you're like, oh, I'll just get the dishes tomorrow, you know? If it's March 15th and my accountant is like, I need this stuff in the next two days, this place is spotless, brother. Because my brain is like, I have to do something to give me a good excuse to not do the thing that I definitely fucking have to do but don't want to do. So, so like, it's almost like you're tricking yourself, right? Like your, your brain is like, I need to give myself a plausible excuse for not doing something important. Oh, I couldn't do important thing that's urgent. I was doing less important thing that could have been done after important thing. I'm not really a procrastinator though. It's just the taxes, <laughs> which to me means that the t it's the tax process that's wrong. It's not the paying, it's the filing. In my country, paying taxes takes 15 minutes and you do it via an app on your phone. Listen, I've been going off on Europe lately because sometimes their superiority complex is very annoying. Oh, we don't tip. We just pay everybody a fair wage. Oh. We only give you water if you ask for it. We don't just give you an endless refill of water for no reason, wasting everybody's time and all this water. I gotta give it to you on that one. I understand you, you pay proportionally more tax, but for the filing process to be um, that easy seems great. And then also, it, I don't wanna say like you get more services for it because I've never lived there, but it does seem like in all those like global happiness surveys, People in the Nordic countries are always like, we're like a five. And then the UN is like, congratulations, you're the happiest place on earth. I have to imagine if you live in Finland every year, you're like, really? I told them that on the average day, I have a mild contentment with my status in life. And they're like, you, uh, you cleared every country on earth by an order of magnitude. Congratulations. By the way, Prezo, I don't know if you're still here. I liked your tweet. The tweet was, uh, and I quote, just came on an alien's chest. I normalize just saying you like someone's tweet because I know what the normal, I'm going for it, brother. You know what the normal reaction is? And I hate, the, the, the worst offender for this is people on Twitter who follow Drill. I love Drill. The Drill tweets are always great. But the people who follow Drill, 
always reply to Drill's jokes with worse jokes. And it drives me crazy. Go to Reddit to do that. That's what you do on Reddit is like, you know, hey, am I the asshole? I ate all of the food that my wife made. Oh, call that a meal replacement. And then, you know, plus two, plus two. Oh, uh, so much this, you know, I hate that. So at first, I'll admit, I'm a millennial. When I saw Prezzo's uh, tweet, his zeet, I was going to say we call that first contact or something like that. But then I said, you know what? Rather than being the prototypical millennial that just tr replies to a good joke with a bad joke, I'm just going to tell Prezzo that they had a good joke and I say, thank you for your good joke. I found it humorous. I enjoyed it. It's just riffing. Millennials be like, no, I was just riffing. Don't, you don't need to riff. Unless your joke is better. But it's probably, is it a pun? It's probably not better than the original joke. Also, it's, I don't, reply guys don't want to hear this, but it's true. It's an order of magnitude harder to make the joke than it is to build off the joke. That's why people who aren't funny love doing improv. Because the audience makes the first joke. Oh, you're a tall guy who works at a grocery store. Then you're like, oh, funny things are flying into my head. It's a lot harder to come up with the funny thing in the first place. Jim, you got to relax a little bit. Jim Slater. I said, what's Jim Slater going crazy about? I, I hate to even do this because it's just, it's going to bother the people that didn't see it. If you look in the northeast quadrant of the screen, there is a little mouse cursor there. I understand. I wish it wasn't there either, but if you just, it's like having dirty glasses. If you just don't think about it for like a couple minutes, you won't even notice that it's there until somebody says, why the hell are your glasses so dirty? And then you'll be like, wait a minute, you're right. But then you'll clean your glasses and you'll be like, holy cow, HD vision. Contacts better than glasses? I don't know, maybe. I've never worn contacts. Yeah, this is a quality look I don't like the I don't like the idea of starting my day by like inserting the tip of my index space. finger into my eyeball though. <laughs> I think I'm I'm not like weird about eye stuff really, except in saw as we've covered, but like I feel like uh, you always hear stories. I'm not that worried about like losing a contact on the ground, but people will be like, "Oh, my contacts slip behind my eyeball." And I'm like, yeah, I'm never going to wear them. Sorry. Just that one story right there is like, no, no shot. That literally can't happen. It happened to me. Not me. I'm saying like these are messages back to back in chat. It literally can't happen. It happens to me all the time. I also, for a while, I went to r slash like optometry. And like almost every post on r slash. Oh! Almost every post on r slash optometry from optometrists is like um, me asking my uh, patient how often they change their contacts and they say, oh, uh, I change them every three months and then my eyes popping out of my head. And then a little bit of this. You know what? Someone asked why, why are you playing so much golf this week? A couple of answers. Oh, one of them being pog rich moments like that. Another one being... Um, We've been playing a lot of new games, and uh, the best new game got ripped out of my Steam library because it was getting too popular ahead of its release, which I respect the developer's right to do. But the average um, <laughs> other new game that I've played, I've played for 24 minutes and been like, I don't know about this. The other thing is, I think I'm entering, at least temporarily, like not all eras have to last, you know, for long periods of time. I'm in a temporary Sips era. Where, like, I'm just playing stuff that's, like, it's low impact. They're like, some streams are, like, a high-intensity interval training workout. You're jogging on tarmac, sprinting on tarmac. We're on the elliptical machine right now with Netflix in the background, and that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. If this is your SIPS arc, where's XCOM? Well, here's the thing. Um, I'm smarter than I used to be. XCOM creates a problematic situation. Because the campaigns are 40 hours long plus. Golf, every single round is just uh, 40 minutes. Then you finish your 40 minutes and you say, you know what, we go again. And maybe you played 40 hours of it, over, just saying one more, one more, the same way like I eat like a whole bag of potato chips. 
telling myself like I'm just going to have a handful. But like if I set out to eat a bag of potato chips and then I didn't eat it, people would be like, that's why we don't want to watch you eat a bag of potato chips because you never finish it. And I would be like, well, here's the thing. You didn't watch me in the first place, so I'm not going to eat the whole bag. And then they're like, well, I didn't watch you eat the bag because I knew you weren't going to finish eating the bag. And I'm like, well, yeah, but if you started watching me eat the bag, I would have had better analytics and then I might have finished eating the bag. So, you know, we got like a little bit of an Ouroboros here. You know what I mean? There's a metaphor. Certified Final Fantasy 16 moment. You never give us the chance to support a full Let's Play anymore. What about the eight weeks that I played Marvel's Midnight Suns on the stream? And all the DLC. I know you weren't there for that watching it, but like, while people were watching it, everybody else was simply begging for it to end. <laughs> that game was cringe though. You had your chance. Sorry. Your mother. Oh, I recall. You ever hear of a Bladeian slip? That's when Blade says one thing, but he means your mother. Elden Ring was Pog, though. Yeah, but they, they're not making a new Elden Ring like every 10 years, you know? That's a once-in-a-lifetime game. By the way, can I say something without people getting mad? Do you see the controversy on Twitter where um, there was a streamer who went to the Armored Core 6 event and he said, like, the game plays really good, but the engine is starting to so show its age? And then the quote tweet was like, I hate when gamers who don't know anything talk like this. This is like so toxic. I, I was so ready because I'm a self-hating streamer. I was so ready to watch the video and be like, I also hate when streamers who don't know what they're talking about go off. I watched the whole 90 seconds and was like, I don't know, they seem pretty polite to me. This is kind of a sore point for me. The graphics of this game are serviceable, no doubt. But the game is made for last gen and this gen consoles. And so I think you're going to see it once again, the graphics of this game suffer kind of the way Elden Ring's graphics suffered. I mean, gameplay wise, the game ran smooth. I was up above 60 FPS the whole time. There were no bugs. There were no glitches. There were no crashes. Everything ran great. And we've come to expect this from From Software. They typically don't have these issues in their games at launch. So that's really good news. But I do wonder at what point are they going to make the leap? From, to a new engine like Unreal 5. I mean, they are falling further and further behind the industry by using this antiquated engine. And I wonder at what point are people going to quit forgiving it? Maybe their criticism is, is not, you know, based on expertise within the medium, but it didn't seem that. It just seemed like they didn't love the way that the graphics in the game looked. And as a result, they, they tried, rather than have like a reason and then attach a criticism. They had a criticism and then they tried to attach a reason for it. And maybe that's the mistake. But I, I honestly thought, you know, don't, if, if that kind of criticism offends you, don't watch any other streamer. Stream, most streamers will literally like boot up a game. Like it says, press the A button, they press start and then it, it doesn't work. And they go, who made this dog shit game? And then they're like, no, I'm going back to team fight tactics. And then, <laughs> yeah, it's, I know it because it's me. Problem is the guy said there hasn't been a good mech game since the PS2. Okay, for, like, how, is, how is that a problem? That wasn't in the clip for one. Maybe I disagree with him. But like at the same time, who cares? It's not enough for a dude to get dogpiled on Twitter for saying he didn't like Mech Assault on the original Xbox. Like, I would love to be, I would be the first person to jump in and get some shots in on a streamer. <laughs> As one myself. I just don't like the streamer. I mean, that's fine. Like, I'm just saying, like, if, if, if you want me to dislike a streamer, you need to do better than that in the clip. You need to, you know, there's been clips of streamers that are like, saying they hope their viewers die in a car crash and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> it's... I remember watching the clip where they were getting mad because I think they were doing just chatting and then they w went off on their chat because they were like, when is gaming going to start? And then she was like, I hope you just leave. And I was like, yes, based. And then she was like, I hope you die in a car crash. And I was like, well... <laughs> I wouldn't have gone that far. What is this putt? Is the I I've broken my analog stick. 
this is what they have left for a part. What is I, I, you know what? I gotta look at my stick when I take this next shot. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. It helped. Who would it? It's like when you're driving, you're not supposed to look at the road. You're supposed to look at your steering wheel. Oh, that was pure. It's gonna roll like a son of a gun, isn't it? Opting for the three wood. Great shape on the shot, though. I mean, is this a par five? This is beautiful. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Tiger Woods. Holy. Inside the range. Might it be nice to make this one. This That's what golf's all about. The dreaded shove always hurts on the greens. And this putt to move into a tie for third. That's what golf's all about, baby. <laughs> You talked about the aliens already? Yeah, kind of. I mean, like, I'm not an alien guy. I'm just kind of, I would say I'm like alien agnostic. The thing about the alien stuff is it's my understanding that it was just a dude who believes in aliens under oath said that there are alien corpses that the government is in possession of. Oh, I simply, I take his credibility into question. That's it. And I'm not like, I, I understand that every streamer on the platform right now is an expert in deep sea submersible engineering, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Of course, politics. There's not even a doubt about that. They're, they're all familiar with all the philosophical allegories and greek and roman history and stuff like that i'm i'm not like that i'm i'm not a smart streamer like everybody else i'm kind of a dumb streamer or at least i know my own limits true game graphics game engines game audio what heavy work boots sound like when they're walking on metal versus walking on uh, wood all i know is what makes me happy and what makes me mad what makes me mad is when the game says that it has controller support, but it doesn't have controller support. And what makes me happy is when it says it has controller support and it has controller support. Okay, opponent difficulty seems good. Conditions difficulty seems good. Rounds per event. Let's play two rounds. Then you get the chance to make up for a, a previous mistake. Ricky Fowler is gonna be at Bluff Championship. I highly recommend you start a rivalry with him. Bro, what's wrong with my agent? My agent's like a dude you've never met is playing in this tournament. Call him a bitch on social media. What the? I did. I don't even know this guy. Really, literally, the Wait, did staff really say thank you for the gift sub? Staff, listen, I, you should have to refund that gift sub and give it to a non-sub member, a non-staff member. Because you work at, the, don't you have like unlimited access to subscriptions? Don't you have unlimited access to LaCroix sparkling water in the Twitch cafeteria? The further out you hit your t -shirt. And There's also catered a San Francisco food. sandwiches that are billed at $29 per sandwich, but all the ingredients make them taste like shit. It'll be like marinated artichoke hearts, roasted red peppers, and like free trade hummus. They're not making Italian sandwiches over there because they're not good for you. I like San Francisco! I'm just saying! I was laid off by Twitch. This bit hits me. <laughs> Stop saying I hate San Francisco. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm not laughing at the fact that you were laid off. What I will say is, having been to Twitch HQ once, I saw the lunchroom, and I said, you know what? You should give everybody the 70-30 split. <laughs> I mean, I get it. You know, you got operating expenses, but at the same time, like, I know, Rangers, I'm not expecting you. I'm just, I'm just, it's just banter, okay? I'm not trying to make enemies. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's me. I, I'm choosing my seven iron. 
well. They've got their eye locked in. Look at that approach shot against Ricky Fowler as well. I'm not against Ricky Fowler. We're literally competing against ourselves. It's me versus me. Stop trying to make this Ricky Fowler thing happen. <laughs> that bastard. Now let's switch our focus to Ricky Fowler. What the hell? Dude, I don't even know who this guy is. Let's see what happens. Look at the lot of this one. Oh, that bastard. You see that approach? He's crazy. He's, he's going to birdie the hole. He's going to be one stroke up on me. Nope, he's, he two-putted it somehow. All right, never mind. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. <laughs> I love that I have no idea what they're saying. Few players have had the kind of impact on the game that Ricky Fowler has. And certainly being a fan favorite, Rich, it's funny when you see grown men dressed head to toe in orange supporting this uh, wonderful person. Uh, but I know he wants more. This wonderful his person? Than what he's got right now. And he will definitely get it as well, Luke. He's too good of a talent and he has too much ability to not be a great player and be on the top of the leaderboard uh, definitely a few times during the season. He is definitely, if there is a Pied Piper in golf outside He's of Tiger, still going. I would put my thumb on, on Ricky Fowler just because so many people go out there dressed in the orange gear that he has. And whatever he does, they just love it. He's engaging. He's affable. He looks like he is enjoying himself on the golf course, which I truly believe he is. He really is one of these players that's so dynamic and so fun to be around. You can't help but root for him week in and week out. Guess what? I'm going to kick his ass. Even this guy's going down. Apparently, he's the nicest person on planet. For par? For par, Ricky? God, he's good. Son of a bitch. I, oh, but wait. I birdied. I birdied. I'm one stroke up on him. Ricky Fowler, the, the Pied Piper of golf. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Don't worry about it. Trees are 90% air. Brother, humans, you're thinking of humans. Humans are 90% air. Trees are like 80% wood. That's water? Yeah. And water is two-thirds air. Not by number of atoms. Obviously, then it's equal. They've got some hydrogen and some oxygen. I'm talking about atomic weight. Most atoms are just empty space. Are you telling me atoms are mostly air? Doesn't make any damn sense. Anyway, watch this drive. Look at the stroke. That's a push. That's not even air? What do you mean? If I was the size of Ant-Man, could I breathe in an atom? Or would I suffocate? Would I have to take an oxygen tank? You would suffocate. How do you have time to know to be a, a pro Ant-Man -Ant scientist in between being an expert in deep, deep sea submersibles, climate change, material science, um, superconductive room temperature, ferromagnetic materials, and uh, Karl Marx literary works? I don't have a job. Okay, well, you know, in that case, that, I was definitely at my smartest when I didn't have a job. And it's not just that my job actively makes me stupider. That is definitely an element of it. But you used to have to go all the way to Jupiter to get more stupider. That's true. Now you can just stay on Earth. There's actually been like a, a stupid deflation. Which is, uh, don't Google that. Or maybe do. I don't know. Everyone's always saying, you know, Google Sonic inflation. Google um, Mike Huckabee dog or whatever, right? Is anybody into deflation? Is there anybody into like, oh, I just wish like a 40 foot tall woman would stick a straw into my thoracic cavity and suck out all the air in my body so I turn into like a little deflated raisin? <laughs> Surely? I don't know. I don't really understand the appeal. I'd rather just have them crush all my bones and then slurp me up like a Capri Sun, but I guess I'm just a normal guy. 
That was such a good launching point for a joke. I was going to say, so crush my bones, slur me up like a Capri Sun, uh, eat me alive. Another, another way we could have gone with that is said, is said, I'd rather they just touch my penis. You know, there's just, they'd bend me in half the wrong way, like a chicken wing. You know, there's, there's, you almost, that's a great setup. You almost couldn't make a bad punchline. I got to hand it to myself for that setup. Oh, we're so back. How do you think you would do on Jersey Shore? Well, it's not like a, it's not a competition, right? Jersey Shore is just like, it's just people existing. I think I would probably do badly on Jersey Shore. I think I would not get along with the people on the show, and I think the audience would hate me. And I would, I wouldn't make sense to me, because I would be like, I thought the audience also hated the people on the show, and they'd be like, we do, but like, not the same way that you do. And I'd be like, oh, come on. How about the amazing race? Honest question, or honest, honest assessment of all of the shows, the, all the reality shows, and I'm not saying I would win. For me personally, the, the best chance for me to win would be the amazing race. I'm not saying I would win the amazing race. All I'm saying is like, I'm pretty good at traveling, honestly. I can do enough planning to set a framework, like a plan to get somewhere, but then not be like so married to the plan that if something goes wrong, I have like an emotional breakdown and then like I can't do uh, like an obstacle course to throw an ax at a bullseye to get an envelope that tells me where my next destination is. I did see that clip from The Amazing Race, uh, or I think it was a British show called like The Great Race or something like that. And it's a bunch of like British travelers on Vancouver Island, or I think it's just in Vancouver. And they're like asking people like, hey, what bus do I take to get to Nanaimo? And everyone's like, oh, brother. <laughs> They're like, well, there's not really like a bus that goes there. You have to take like a, you could take like a taxi and then there's a ferry. And then when you get off the ferry, you could take it. Oh, they're going to Prince George. That's right. People are like, well, there's like a, you could get like a Greyhound bus that comes like once every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Otherwise you got to like get a, like a, hire a chartered car or something like that. Reminds me of when I was in, uh, Iceland, we went to a friend's wedding in the town of Hekla. And we had to get from Hekla back to Reykjavik. We said, no problem. We'll take a taxi to the bus terminal and then we'll take a bus from Hekla to Reykjavik. Well, in Hekla, call the taxi. Hey, the taxi driver is on vacation for two weeks. That's no problem. You can send somebody else. You already know where this is going. There ain't nobody else. He's just the guy. So we were very blessed <laughs> to get a, a ride with some mutual friends back to the bus terminal. But it kind of blew my mind. I was like, literally, like this town is just like, I mean, they're living. It's, it's not like they're on the verge of extinction or something like that. But like this one guy is holding up like the entire tourism industry in the town. To Ricky I literally do not care what Ricky Fowler is doing, okay? This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Congrats, okay, Ricky. Let's get back to the action. They've chosen to club down. I club down. Henny, I'm on the PGA Tour and you're in the PGA Tour booth, okay? So just know your place here. That's professional golf right there. Did you see? Did you see this approach? Are you saying you're questioning me for clubbing down? Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. <laughs> I hit that with a little too much mustard, but <laughs> that's true. When I was a kid in real life, Tiger Woods was also winning every event. So who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's, that's That's rubber band AI, Ricky. That's rubber band AI. And all of them are chasing Tiger once again. Holy cow, I'm only two strokes behind Tiger. I'm only one stroke behind Tiger. 
Projected cut is at even today, just so we just so we're clear. Look at just 283 yards. Listen, if you're not going to go for this green, you better just give up your tour card. I mean, you heard the man. This is a, a begging to be good. This hole is going to show you what kind of well, player you truly are. Take out the three water driver. Knock it on the green. Personally, I think this game is fun, but the engine's starting to show its age. True, it's emblematic. Golf games are supposed to be uh, visually appealing. Men, you're on a date with her, but then Ricky Fowler calls you and says he wants to shoot 36 holes real quick this Sunday. What do you do? Tell her, sorry, daddy has to get some business done. I'll tell you later when I can. Put 10K on the bed that I already had. Take a picture of it and send it to her and say, business achieved. Sorry, kitten. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Step aside, everyone else. Now, number one. Oh! To Ricky Fowler. He's currently trailing his rival. Ricky Fowler, in the midst of a here. mental breakdown, is actually an incredible chip. In the hole. Great shot. So right, I think this is acceptable. Extra club gone against the caddy here. Bro, she the absolutely what are we looking hates for when I... Lady? Mix it up. She's she. You know what? You're right. She's probably a caddy, or she's married the one. You're assuming she can't be a golfer. No, I'm assuming that if she were a golfer, she would respect the fact that the the golfer is above the caddy in the golfer caddy hierarchy. That's why I'm saying she's probably a caddy because she's like, why isn't this guy listening to his caddy more? She is caddy. So true. When I get there, you better not be Albert Einstein serving. See you next Tuesday. Me, when they get there, picture of Albert Einstein wearing capri pants with his little calves on display, looking off to the side. You know what I'm talking about? I feel like every Steely Dan song is like, um, is about a party, and then the chorus gives the main character of the party like a... Um, like a, a, a demonym or a name, I should say, a superlative. The verse is, is always like, you know, bring the red wine down, we're about to set sail, and bring the fishing pail. You know that Biden well. And then the chorus is like, they call me the Duke of Kingston. That's more of like an air supply. They call me the Duke of Kingston, something like that. You know what I mean? He really changed the entire There's something in there. The problem is nobody respects Steely Dan anymore, which is is very it's a it's problematic for me. And you know everybody because they're very good. They're all going. Well, how does he do this? Well, it's almost like he had a plan, a master plan to go out there and listen. I'm going to dominate my base. Is he still talking? Physically better, mentally better, and I'm just going to steamroll these guys. And when he first started doing that, everybody's kind of looking back on. Okay, he's taking this seriously. Maybe um, I need to start taking it seriously too, right? Okay. <laughs> so it, it's just one of those things that came along that nobody knew what to really expect of him. But he, he, he told us right away, listen, I expect to win every single week out there. And, and uh, sure enough, that's what he did. <laughs> Me, when I say hi to my neighbor, 30 seconds later, I'm... Five minutes deep in a story about how she had a dog who got attacked by a pit bull. And ever since then, she hasn't been able to trust strangers. And I'm like. Whoa. I just moved in, man. Jack Black is definitely in the dream say, blunt no, rotation. I also look back at the sport, Luke, when Arnold Palmer came through. Oh, here we go. Um, good looking fella and just kind of came from a blue collar background. And I kind of think that Arnold Palmer paved the way. Which was the style at the time. And then go out and dominate because golf was already on the radar. It just wasn't nearly as much on the radar uh, as it is now because of Tiger. But I think because of what, what Arnold Palmer did, um, he set the, the groundwork for all of they them. named a the guy after the tea no the tea is his dad his mom fucked the tea or the lemonade or whatever <laughs> i don't care whether you're talking about you know, tom brady lebron james right now uh, it, it's 
I don't think you have a bigger player globally, uh, with the exception of maybe Messi or Ronaldo, than Tiger Woods. I, I just think that from a global standpoint, Tiger Woods, whenever he shows his face, Anywhere people lose shut their up mind. during my bag swing grown men lose their minds if they get a glimpse of Tiger Woods from 50 yards away I've seen it before Luke and I'll see it again But it it never seems to amaze me baffle me make me giggle a little bit like holy cow this guy is This guy's Elvis He's check Elvis quick. Bro. What was the the one where Donald Elvis Sterling goes guy, off as as and talks oh, about how so she was just, sucking him off in the car and, and then the lawyer says like sir the question was like what did you have for lunch today? Uh, and continues to be and will forever be. Sir, I asked if this is your signature. Thank you. Thank dude. I mean, listen, it would have been nice if it came like 20 seconds earlier cuz the comedic timing would have been crazy, but I do I appreciate it either way. The question was is this your handwriting? <laughs> so oh man. I think I'm, I'm putting too much attention on the wind. Oh my God, this is gonna be like a triple bogey. Let's try and make this one. Let me drop the one shot. You know you're in trouble when the commentary goes from like an, a biography of Tiger Woods' life to the point of putting is to make the shot. So far as to have tamed the Tiger in a major championship, how did you manage to do it? Uh, oh, here we go. That's a, that's a big stretch there. Um, you know, I did it because I never had to play with him. I was fortunate enough to to not be paired with him the third round, nor in the final round when I was paired with Justin Leonard. And going back, which was to the, the style at the time. The roars, you know, not knowing that was him making those birdies. You assumed it was. You couldn't deny that it was, but not knowing, not knowing, it was a lot easier to say, well, that was Fred Funk who he was playing with in the final round, who was having such a great week as it was. It was easier to deflect that a little bit. I think if I would have played alongside him, I think things might have been... Fred Fox. <laughs> he does bring a different energy, and sometimes it can be uncomfortable. But when you start hearing those roars going up, and you're playing with them, well, you know exactly what's going on. Son of a bitch. But when you're not playing with them, I was able to kind of deflect what he was actually doing, and, and I was fortunate. That's too bad. You, can you turn the commentary off? Why would I want to turn the commentary off, man? That's part of the appeal. They meant yours. Okay, that's... That one hurt. They're just patronizing me now. Before, they were, like, insulting me, and I was crushing it. Now I'm doing so badly, they're patronizing me. Slightly, slightly downhill. Like Tony Hawk's jam. Oh, what? Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Seems a lot that simpler. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. <laughs> Great Is smooth jazz like Sergio Garcia's nickname? Give me this. Give me this. Going with the five iron here. I'm gonna need a big gust on this, this one, please. Left here, Rich. Okay, not the best result. Hey, Aqua Lung, so there. true. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely. Will Farrell in shot. Anchorman be like, hey, Aqua Lung? Shout out to Christina Applegate. This one's for her family. This part for a final score of 75. Better than most. Listen, not the best day on the links. How do, how do we shoot on the back nine? Three over? All right, that's pretty bad. But, uh, you know, <laughs> and Henny, it's our first day on the PGA Tour. The lights were brighter than I expected, to be honest. Absolutely, Luke. I think the consolation prize is the way they performed against their rival this week. That's true. I crushed Ricky Fowler. 
I mean, that wasn't even close. He got no eagles. He got five birdies. I got 11. He got five bogeys. I got seven. <laughs> I won. Eat that, Ricky Fowler. I'm also now a level nine golfer, and my clubhouse pass is almost leveled up too. What's my prize money at, though? Holy cow. Legendary three wood? 2K clubs? Boy, I sure hope they don't. I sure hope they do. <laughs> Tier one, no ride. I've defeated Ricky Fowler. We can now move on to Bubba Watson or Harold Varner the third. Dude, this is so good. Look, he got faded. It's it's permadeath. It does look like he's dead. Ready to start a rivalry? I mean, straight up. I'm going up against Bubba Watson. He's ranked tied for 14th right now. I think I'm also ranked tied for 14th. That's perfect. Why does this sound like Hitman music? It's a little dramatic, right? Like, I mean, the menu music also goes crazy. Let's see if we can get the menu music. This is like when the Avengers are suiting up for the final battle and you're like, there's no way they could possibly win the final battle. But then you remember that at Marvel Fest last year, they already announced a sequel to this movie and you're like, Maybe they're safe. Maybe they'll find a way. They just found it. You've got to put the stones in the glove. Don't do it. There's no coming back from this. We don't have another choice. <laughs> Khaleesi gets uh, powers. Of hey, you, you, you see the tweet? How did they get Thanos' DNA? So Amelia Clark absorbed the DNA of everybody that's ever existed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. How did they get a DNA sample from Thanos? Also, how does Thanos have DNA? I mean, they might. It's fiction, brother. Yeah, but all fiction should strive to adhere to the rules of reality. Otherwise, cinema sins will call it out as a, as a ding. Star-Lord is an alien? No, he's not, idiot. His mom was a human being. His dad's a celestial. He's half human. So half of his body has DNA. So what are we, are we gonna, like how's this? Like a, we could do quick sort. Come on, there's to gotta start. be one more person. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to abuse the ad. You out here, I'm sure you're getting something. Well, I mean, I'm looking at the people in the list. Uh, I don't think any of them are gonna. <laughs> really? You don't think Wife Taffy's gonna see this ping and join us? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? That, you know? Oh, yeah. I was going to say maybe he Barry stream. He's doing a sponsored thing, man. If it was anything else, I'd go bully him. But you got to do your sponsored content. Very that's true. That is true. I went to Chib stream yesterday, and I talked for like a week. Well, not a week. A minute straight about gooning. And then he didn't really reply. And then I said, why didn't you reply? And he said, look at the hashtag. And it was a sponsored stream. And I said, yeah. oh, that's right. I, mm. I think when I woke up this morning, I, I love I waking up early because it's before Chip goes to bed. So we have a nice little chat when I wake up. And I think he told me, I think he was like, Ryan was talking about gooning during my sponsored <laughs> content. And I was like, that rocks. <laughs> well, we had a difference of opinion because he thought, and he might be right, but he thought gooning is when you have like one three hour long session. Uh -huh. I thought it was like keto where you just, if you jerk off enough over the course of like two weeks, you enter the state of gunosis, and then you're like- Oh, I was gonna say come to us. <laughs> that's, that's better. <laughs> like I, I thought gooning is when like your body switches to like using cum as energy or something like that instead of sugar. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think it was like a, a one thing that you could do. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy how much how much uh, energy does your body use making cum like like you should be able to turn that off i think no, kind of no. waste when you don't need it you factory know? reset this body i don't want to grow fingernails anymore they're the perfect length <laughs> no you're right no yeah hair fingernails like that shit like needs to stop yeah. eventually turn yeah just chill turn off the hair turn off the cum <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just well <laughs> 
Dude, hair is so <laughs> random too, man. So random, you know. Like I've got like I, I know you're a shoulder hair guy. Oh, dude. I got I I wasn't until like for some reason at age like 26 or something. I grew shoulder hair on one shoulder and not the <laughs> other. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. I can see that being annoying. Yeah, I mean it's like I'm 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 blessed with very very light colored hair because I would look like a hairy little freak if I had dark colored hair, but instead you don't really see it. Mm -hmm. I do hate though when guys like you and you as an individual specifically right, are right, like, right. oh, I oh I'm getting so old I have chest hair now, and then it's like three hairs and I'm like just yeah. shave it. People are like, why don't you shave your chest? Well, I did first off it clogs my shower drain every time I do it. That then after I shave my chest, I got to shave my shoulders. And after I shave the entire front of my body, the entire back of my body is still super hairy. What am I supposed to do about that? Tape like a bunch of razors to my shower wall and just like do squats <laughs> until <That's> it's awful. <laughs> I don't have awful like mental image. I don't have like Mr. Fantastic elastic arms and eyeballs and stuff like there's only so much I could do, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, just wear a shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 that usually solves most of the issues. Shaving's kind of annoying. I, I, I've, got, I've gotten lazy with shaving, honestly. It's just annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. You're, you're either going to go like ham and get like shaving cream and a razor and be all careful and shit, or you get like one of the only works like 70% uh, as good, like electric razors. And then that's, that's the ticket, that's, I think. I'm, I'm very that's, that's what electric I do, razor yeah. built. It's just also sometimes it like hurts. I don't know about you guys, but. If I let it get too long and I try to use an electric razor, nah, man, it like yanks them out at full it's, speed. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stay on it for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my like I recently I super trimmed my beard. I took like it, it was like it was probably like a like a four plus inch beard, and I took it down to an eighth of an inch. Holy cow! Measure. Yeah. I don't know what well, either of those a, measurements look like. In I've the got real attachments world. for my beard trimmer, and they they all have different measurements on them. I've got some idea of what four inches looks like, but an eighth of an inch. Oh, Wait, what is that an eighth of an mean? inch. An eighth of an inch. That's the size of my penis. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> and four inches. That's the length of my balls. Hey. Long balls, long balls, long balls. I'm loading oh, Jackbox for, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm tough. Let's, we'll start with a quick sword. I bet you we get a chip in the second half. This shit has to <laughs> they, happen. They had us in the first half. <clears throat> to like live performers all the time, right? They're in like the green room going like, I don't, we can't fucking go out on stage in Akron. Okay. The crowd in Akron is yeah. positively Jerry's got anemic. COVID. We're missing. Yeah. Oh, wait, the crowd. I thought it was like a <laughs> personnel problem. I'm picturing like one of the blue men show up and not the other two. <laughs> but yeah, or like the, the, one of them's like insanely like out of it on drugs or something like that. <laughs> and they're just like they, they can't talk so they're, everything. Yeah. Let's not let it, Watch let's Italy's let like go. third. <laughs> Australia. Oh, what the oh, hell? Yeah. You guys probably like around the same time. I'd as, say pre, like yeah, same time as like I think pre Japan. I'd say. There's nah, no they, way. They yeah, Japan. After Japan, man, Japan probably Based on is cultural actually last. stereotypes. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, right? <laughs> What do they do? Flat kangaroo up there, man? Hey, like, come on. Hey, we're doing, oh, I, we're far, in space. Far. Do a shoey or whatever they do over there. Oh, Japan was last. That was the latest. I told you. I told Italy went in at 64? That's crazy. Why is it so funny to think of an Italian guy on the moon? <laughs> I think it's funny to imagine an Italian guy anywhere. The moon is a meatball. He's playing a formula. That's what I'm uh, it's like the last bastion of acceptable racism, I think. <laughs> that was a good run, though. That yeah, was a really, long. that was like an hour long run. Damn. My, uh, my faith in getting a Chibli in the second has dropped tremendously. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, eat shit, audience. Uh, are we switching? I need to go let my sweet puppy out. Go um, ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. If you want to either do another one or switch. Yeah, I'll throw the maple back. slash marker. Um, I'll call that Jackbox one. And then we could afford to kill like two minutes and maybe he'll wake up. Yeah. Doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's for dinner, Ryan? 
I don't know, man. Ah, what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> man, shit. How about you? What's for dinner? Uh, I got some Wegman sushi. What Pretty did you bad. just say to me? Uh, sushi from the grocery store known as Wegman. Oh. I went there today. I bought coffee filters and sushi and uh, polar seasonals. What is a polar seasonal? Uh, polar is a seltzer and they do seasonal flavors. Oh, I've got a so bubbly got seasonal. Summer. What what's, oh. what flavor of the season is it for you right now? Ah, oh, fuck. I have to look, the, uh, they're confusing, but if I look them up, I'll know. But this one's freaking me out, because this can, when I hold it up to the webcam, that is not what color this can is. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta like switch my, wa mm -hmm. my white balance here. Give me a second. I'm a, I'm a big polar guy. Polar, polar is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, I got a new coffee machine. So I have to go get filters for it. And I, I love my new coffee machine. I feel like a bougie little guy. It makes such a good cup of coffee, though. I'm just gonna keep babbling. <laughs> Someone in my chat asked what kind of machine it's a uh, Mocha Master. Okay. Hey. I'm back. I don't know where Ryan went. I think he's dead. Oh. <laughs> no, this is not right. What happened? <laughs> I was, I, <laughs> Are you okay? I was manually adjusting the white balance on my camera. So I was holding up the bubbly can to the camera until it looked like it looks in real life. Like until the video looked like the can looks in real life. And then I sat uh -huh. down and I'm in the matrix. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm so like... I'm Is so, it still that way? I want to see it. Dude, I'm so green. Oh. Like this is, but the can looks right, but I do not look right. Oh, you're what? so green! Look at this man. <laughs> what happened? Wait, you, you look like you're in the back rooms. I know, so dude. <laughs> so Here, I gotta <laughs> just let me let me fix it. Huh. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh, <laughs> oh. well, it's four. It's over, man. Uh, there's a small part of me holding out that chip had a, a, an alarm set for this time. So you could skip. Never mind. Wait, I look perfect now. Did I fix it? Wait, yeah, what the fuck happened? What'd you do? I, I went, looked away. I went to my camera and I adjusted the white balance settings. The can. Does, does I still feel like it's right, a. But... <clears throat> I still feel like it's a little too. Like, like drop the white balance like a, like a hair. There's four settings there's yellow green blue oh, no. and red so apparently what i need what kind of fucking camera do you have I need, it's a sony uh a4600 or something oh okay i need less red okay less red <laughs> you have to get less up to do this that's amazing green. that's amazing this is incredible oh okay How about now? I think that's, I, I mean, I think that's, that's it. I think that looks good. I'm a little blue. Oh, okay. I'll take it. That's not so, but the shirt looks right. The can looks wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I did get self-conscious because I was, I talked up somebody's tweet. The tweet was motherfuckers who get paid bi-weekly be like, and then it was a picture. And it said week one, Yamaha MX7 synthesizer. Week two, ice soup. <laughs> and it, apparently they they 
took the clip and said thank you for the kind words and posted it on Twitter. And all the replies were like, we love to see kings supporting kings. Also, it's my dream to get rizzed up by a pink NL. And I was like, I am pink as hell in that... Uh, <laughs> In that yeah. video, so I've been trying to work on my white balance, but then I just keep turning my ass like green instead. <laughs> like I can't get, I can't get it right, dude. Oh, uh, it's gotta be like a lot, right? I don't know, man. I don't think it's. I don't know. I'm. I'm not gonna like. I'm oh, gonna sure. give us some space like this. Okay. How'd we do, I Chad? I think we fucking blew it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we got it exactly right. Watch this shit. Well, that's not a good start. <laughs> 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 Zero, I, I knew it was not gonna have any fucking that's teeth. That's bullshit, man. bro. That's they got oh. like a they got like fourteen thousand and one. Oh, know, okay, that's not that bad. That's fine. Yeah, the weird okay. shape is gone. It yeah. saved us. This Holy is cow, bro! I <laughs> snails have fourteen thousand teeth. That's gotta be some bullshit science fact that's only partially true. I <laughs> refuse to accept that otherwise. That's, a, that's, that's zero. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Alright, pretty bad. This is what I would look like getting my colonoscopy. Huh? <laughs> all right. 3.14159265 nine. That's it, that's all I know. So it's three, one, four, five, nine. Two, six. Okay. Five, nine. What? That's, uh, I haven't said that yet, so that's gotta be after. Trash? Wait, do, I mean, wait. this is the first 27. <laughs> Do they ever repeat? Do, do the pie, does just a pie ever repeat, or is that like a fancy thing about pie? They never repeat. They can't repeat. Yeah, they, they can't I repeat, give right? Three point one four, and that's fuck. it. That's not. That okay, I think that's we threw away the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know where it goes, so it's safer in the trash. Very. Three point one four one five nine. I'm not gonna insult you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm gonna. We're just gonna put 3.14 to the left so that it touches those two Cheetos. Um, Guaranteed, okay. yeah. Unless they don't, they don't give us 3.14, in which case that's bullshit. That would be mean. I think you can handle this one, man. Chat, you finally got a clip of me putting you two in the trash. Wait, Chat, you finally got a clip of me trashing you two. There you go. Hey. Get those two. Get those two Cheetos that's out of here. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna take a second. Imagine if we we did this right and it created like an incredible scientific discovery, like <laughs> like some mathematician at MIT is watching this and he's like, "Mein Gott!" <laughs> they, they've done it. <laughs> this might be, is this the hardest quick sort because like you have zero chance if you don't just know it, right? Like how. <laughs> I like, think like about it. You can kind of suss cheat. out other ones. Okay, that's yeah, it's like a Y equals MX plus B. No, it's that's... covered the trash. Oh, you can just put it in the front, put it in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks, but it's okay. We'll just cover that trash forever. Oh. But then now you broke the streak, it and now the, the trash streak. is oh, covered God. forever! <laughs> it's okay. We're out of this one. We can start oh. over. <laughs> Maybe the blocking trash mechanic is bad. Oh, wait. still gave it to us. Okay. That wasn't me. But the 3.14 is still over oh, the trash. Oh, right, right. <laughs> He's slamming yeah, right on okay. that one. Oh, Big Dog's not the same as the one that we... Okay. Jackbox! Jackbox! Oh, my Jim God. Lee, yes! Jackbox! Jackbox! Uh, wait, it might give us Peter Dinklage. Hold on. Yeah, true. I'll give you... I'll give you a Peter Dinklage. <laughs> what the hell? Hey. Bill Burnham is tall as fuck. For real? I was gonna say, he was a tiny little guy. No, he is super tall. He is, he is as tall as I am, and maybe even energy. slightly taller. I, I think he's 6'5". I thought you were gonna say he's as tall as Shaq. I don't know who Beta Fishman is. That's, is not, a, that's not a real person. That's a, that's <laughs> a, that's a <laughs> this is the character from The Shape of Water. Ah. Ghibli. Welcome, <laughs> Ghibli. <laughs> Simone Biles is short. Same time. Is she taller than? Yes, we have. Simone Biles is so short. Is she really that I don't know short? Who that is. I'm gonna. She's short. Her. This has to be trash, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's trash. <laughs> oh, 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 Ariola Hutchinson. Gymnast. Ariola is gonna be like one of the best body part names. It's so cool. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Poo poo. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think that was right. He's 6'5. Simone play... Biles is so short. 
Do you guys want to play something else now that uh, Ghibli's yeah. here? We don't have to play Quicksword anymore. Yeah. Well, what can we play with four? What's anything. I guess anything. <laughs> anything. You guys got some... I mean, you... you. It'd be so funny to fucking leave. Wheel of enormous <laughs> proportions? Fuck, man. <laughs> Please no. No wheel? On, no wheel? Man. Okay, okay. Ah, wheel? End it with a wheel? I think wheel with four wouldn't be so bad. Oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, I think we got a plurality. I'm gonna punch my own ticket, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a democracy, dude. Come on. Oh, no, man. I'm There's so cold. Options, honestly. Honestly. How cold is it there? Oh. oh, um, okay, let me search. Uh, wither on Google, hang on. Gen Z, um, like, uh, what's the weather like? Hang on. Let me check Google. It's... <laughs> 40, 43. That's chilly. Yeah. 95 cold. feels like 107 here right now. Nice. So. Wait, I wonder what my feels like is, because my feels like is always lower, dude. Right now it's 100 degrees. Feels like it's 101, so it's it's pretty dry out there today. The hottest feels day of like the year here. 41. Feels <laughs> like 41. Ooh. I'm 34, but I feel like 27. Hey. Oh. Right, well, too close, too close to home, Chibli? Are you 27? Yeah, I'm 27. No, got me, got me, got me, got me. Got your nose. No, oh, there you go. He's got my nose. Oh. Your nose. Doing got your nose to like 48-year-old man at the pub. <laughs> got your <laughs> Oh. You're a good lad. You're a good lad, Ghibli. You know that? You're a good lad. You're gonna eat a fucking pint of Guinness, <laughs> mate. Yeah, it was a fucking good one. Can't lie. Took me back to my childhood. Not been there for years. Oh, man. It's all you fucking need, isn't it? It's all you fucking need is uh, your, your mates. Pint of the lager. Right. Georgie Pine. The, day, the, bo the boys is all you got in this world, man. <laughs> you come into this world with the boys, you come out of this world with the boys. <laughs> Louis Armstrong voice. Yeah, that's pretty true. <laughs> nice try, man. <laughs> Someone said do Steve-O and Louis Armstrong walking into a bar, but what I what popped into my head immediately was Steve-O like pulling his pants down and then Louis Armstrong blowing his butthole and he like inflates like a balloon <laughs> what are you talking about louis armstrong famous like trumpet player yeah yeah yeah. Um, I, I, I was with you i was with you and he's like it fucking kills like man it. louis louis it fucking kills <laughs> god dude <laughs> oh that's yeah, this game i forgot about this game in the five seconds that that bit was going on <laughs> I think I pinpointed the start of the gas leak here. No, right? no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. This is my one true weakness, man. You guys are dead. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it worked. Uh, oh, before my time, man. I got five. I don't know why I like this game, because like I'm not great at it. Oh, fuck, man. For once, I thought I was keeping up. Ryan already has like eight fucking pieces of pie, man. I know these. I don't know this though. Uh, oh, he has puppets? I love this show, but it's been a long time since I saw it. <laughs> Dude, they this have is a, impossible. an owl sponsored by <laughs> the Twitter fucking website. Are you kidding me, dude? XQC the owl. Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to get <laughs> zero right. I'm an owl, dude. I mean, Daniel Tiger is real. <laughs> Holy fuck, I got 10 right. Ten? There's, there's dude, no just way. some of the, I was like, listen, there's no fucking way Crouton the Ninth and Donnie Poor Pig are gonna be real. And then the rest of them, I just sort of used my uh, intuition. This is ridiculous. <laughs> and I know Daniel Tiger is real, because he like, he took over for Mr. Rogers. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome if there's a scandal that comes out that you've been Googling everything on everything you've ever done for the past, oh. like, four years. Oh, this is impossible. No, it's actually the easiest answer of all time. Oh, it's like a, um... Oh, oh think of the 9-11 dude. Oh, fuck. What the <laughs> What? <laughs> well, I mean, he had strikes, though. Ah, uh, uh... I don't know, I just guessed 100 oh. less than a perfect game. Oh, I think, it's like, uh, I think you're off by one, Apollo. I think you're off by one. 
Oh. oh. Guys, I ran out of time. <laughs> I was bowling in my head. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm stupid the... too. I'm happy I got as close as I did. That's me. I'm a new spinner. So it? many fucking green slides. It'd be so funny if you'd somehow never land on a single one of yours, even though there's so many. You're right. That'd be hilarious. Well, it's not the power <laughs> slice, so honestly. Mother trucker, dude. Yeah, can we talk about how we we were talking about bowling and you said just think of the 9 11 guy? The guy that bowled yeah. the perfect game on 9 11. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Classic guy. Oh, I like what Chad said. Chad said he's probably talking about a 7 10 split. I didn't know there was a there was like a story here. No, yeah. He was literally bowling when it all happened, and then he got a perfect game. Oh, I gotta tap. Whatever you do, don't hit the power slice. <laughs> no, you swipe. You don't tap. <sighs> Amelia Clark in Secret Invasion be like, Oh, that was the one thing you weren't supposed to do! Oh. <laughs> Amelia, air heart when she sees a, a coconut crab. She's just gonna win in like one round. Alright. I'll kill you. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the... What would you do if you were in this same situation? <sighs> It is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just don't. You know, winning isn't my thing. Do, do you hear? He's, tell, he's telling you that he's not game. scared of you, Chibli. He's basically saying that you're so dog shit that he doesn't care giving you four thousand. I mean, it's just, I mean he's, he's really funny. He's right. Why are you on his side? Because <laughs> there's like a zero percent chance I win this game. So like, it could happen. I'm just here for. Oh, it could happen. <laughs> It wasn't because I'm not scared of Chibli, it's because he had the least points and you had the most. So I thought that would be funny. I guess I could have swapped with uh, him. Then everyone would have been really mad at me. That would have been very funny. They, People would have been like, oh, you think you're this confident? <laughs> oh, I know this. Oh, this for sure. Oh, I know animals, man. Oh, fuck. No, it has to be that one. No, I'm really? Oh, that one surprised the hell out of me. Uh, I'm washed. Shit. What? Okay, no, I, this I'm is bullshit. Too. This is bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm completely washed. washed. I'm, I'm washed. No, I got I'm fucked. I'm, I'm shitted on. I refuse to believe that one. Just for the record. <laughs> Holy fuck! I'm horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just kept cooking crocodile every time it showed up, dude. I, sh I should have gone... It's crocodiles and turtles all the way down. Are you telling me a lion has more bite force than a human being? Yeah, wait, were you... <laughs> you're, was your poisoned brain like, oh, I can take all these animals in a fight, so I bite harder than them? I was like, their teeth are so sharp, they don't have to bite that hard. <laughs> Our teeth are all blunt. We gotta bite hard as hell. <laughs> They're big. They're, they're so much That's bigger incredible. than us. What do you think, guys? Run it back? Yeah. <laughs> I, think I love play. this game. You can win right now. <laughs> Give us a spin. Yeah, I'll do joke bot. I do joke bot. Oh wait, wait, oh, let's no. not uh, go not so fast. <laughs> Everyone's standing up before the bell rings, <laughs> guys. Get back in your seats. Give me my power slice. Oh, who? Who are they? One of them plays for the Jets. I don't know if Hammerstein's been drafted yet. I just typed in a number. Me too. First one that came to my mind. Hmm, well, if chat's right, I'm a little bit off. Oh! 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 A shot high, I see. Dude, this is it's going to be a spicy one. Well, you spin first, so no matter Do what, I? I think... I think... Maybe, I don't know, maybe Justin. No, Justin just spun. So yeah, I think you're spinning next. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got the power. One slice, thing's so for sure. First. Chibli's not going to win. So. I might win. I don't know why you're fucking like honking my goddamn car horn, bro. <laughs> if you go for the 2x, you're absurd. Who needs 2x anymore? Oh, you guys have the only same idea. Okay, I've no, got only both two X's to my own. To my okay, I've got three solo spaces. I'm feeling pretty good. Stuff. This could go anyway, man. Oh, come on. I got three solos, man. This is my moment. Hit my two X's, dude. 
And uh, oh, two Oh, dude! Where did he go? Oh, no! Oh, no, hey! Oh, my Fuck God. No, no. It couldn't be. It could happen. You, the also. most comical you, possible also. outcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Oh, oh man, he's got There's the no technique way, down, it? too. He's got the technique. Oh, we got oh, oh, no! oh, oh, oh. I've never even got to spin this wheel before, <laughs> dickhead. Me neither. <laughs> oh, my moments. Uh, there's no way I hit a Ryan space and lose the game to him. Oh, 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 oh he's got, I think he's got like a 75 oh. or a two thirds or a 75% oh, chance. Uh, there's no way. There's no way I lose, right? Oh, there's no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. After all of my points. Wow. They kind of look like nuts. Like hanging, no like a pair of hanging nuts. Oh! Oh! Yes, I won, right? <laughs> what I won, right? I'm next, right? I'm a winner. No, I get no? my power slice, right? Oh, the death slices now. Wait, where'd my fucking power slice go, you motherfucker? Oh, man. Oh, wow, you can just oh! slice. Oh, come on! No. Ooh, well, you could not deal with your failure, and where did that bring you? Back to Are me. Are you you're gonna... kidding me? No, you're gonna hit it. Dude. Imagine. Gonna Imagine. There's no way, dude. There's no way. There's no shot. Come on, please. Yeah, no, no way. way. We all fucking thought, I guess. Woo! That's kind of the funniest outcome. <laughs> What a game! Would have been me winning on my spin, dude. Imagine, holy! <laughs> oh, it's kind of similar to my question, honestly. Oh. Now NTA. I know how Oppenheimer felt. Spoilers, man. Oh! <laughs> 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 Is it implying that asshole's not accurate enough? <laughs> what do you guys think? I like uh, that game. I'll do whatever. Oh. Okay. Dude, do you know who you remind me of? Oh, of no. like, so whoever the fuck, the motherfucker with the balder up the hill? Sisyphus. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. Like, every every time, like you, you make it. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's not that funny. It's every yes. time. <laughs> Oh. That's every time you make a joke that gets deemed gas leak error, you're a uh, sissy puss. So, <laughs> so true. Well, I had, so I know people laugh at the idea that like you must imagine Sisyphus happy, but then there was that post that was like, why did Sisyphus not just stop rolling the boulder? And I'm like, because that motherfucker would have been bored. That's worse than pushing the boulder. All right, gas leak, gas leak. I've been saying forever, <laughs> if they wanted to really punish Sisyphus, they should take the boulder away. They should have just like hit him with the boulder over and over or something. Like he's got to roll down on the boulder, like a, like a cartoon, like the Whee! Flintstones. Yeah, <laughs> like a Canadian if lumberjack. If I ever had to do something forever, I think I would rather die. Well, say, that's the point, like, right? Yeah. I feel like there's significantly worse punishments than what he got. Like I don't think. Come on, a big rock, man. You seen it? Yeah, but like it's Welcome a like board. doing you a thing, right? Like imagine like not doing a thing and just getting tortured forever. Yeah, I that's think that's automatically I worse. Life, according to the central tenets of the Lord. Oh, I'm having that moment where I'm like, why did I make us play this? It happens no, every I time. I'm like, oh, oh no, I know. Fans. I go, oh, I love it. But then like it actually like you start playing it, and I'm like, oh no. Wait, but were you here when um, I made the joke? Um, a group of dictators walk into a yeah, bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. That just made me we was even sadder because oh, like no. I like the song. It makes me want to sit on a beach. Yeah, I would say when I hear this, I think this is just the music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Every time I come to your stream, you're always playing like some Jimmy Buffett or like the Beach Boys after uh, they bullied Brian Wilson out of the band. <laughs> I'm a big uh, island fantasy guy. Mm. It's my favorite genre of music. <laughs> oh, Better island fantasy, sound theater alive, beach volleyball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, you get me? You feel me? You see me? A-Sim, what was the name of the game you were playing yesterday called? 
Oh, Ace of Malted Access. Thank you for coming into my chat during a sponsored segment and talking about Goon Cage. <laughs> <for 20 minutes. laughs> I thought it was a normal sponsored stream where, like, the person who paid money for the stream wasn't watching. And then after you finish, no, yeah, they're the just like, good job. Yeah, the dev was in chat. Uh, my doctor said I have a bad case of the shits. <laughs> because I have just eaten a shit in the doctor's office, LOL. Okay. <laughs> Where's the divorce? Where's the divorce? Oh man. I don't remember what my other one was. That's a not a good sign. Group of friends walk into a bar, and one of them is an alcoholic, but the others don't know it. Glad to see we're all doing equally well here. Which Wait, maybe I got a chance. <laughs> I don't think so. Good. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay, fucking. Uh, you wanna you wanna take jabs? I'll take jabs. Um, Please do. <laughs> oh, fucking planet, Andy did. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no! Someone didn't even vote. Oh my god, you won. Oh, I didn't wow. vote. Shit, sorry. I voted. And a tip of oh. To you. oh, now I know who's fake. My nickname is Vaccine. Because 38% of Americans will never get me. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, he got a joke out of joke both. I don't believe it. That's good, that's good. I don't believe it. My grandma said the best thing about romantic comedies is... The fucking... <laughs> she was a uh, horny grandma. Horny grandma? Yeah. You can't that's say a, that's that. A, that's a show. Naked that's grandma. A movie. <laughs> <laughs> Name oh, I'm not voting at all. Sorry. Something that comes out of your penis when you stroke it. Me 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 me. Come. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Honestly, you got more points than I thought you would. Oh. Great setup. I think uh, joking at the expense of Americans is OP. Yeah, it's true. I think I did pretty good this round, guys. Let's look at our starboard. That's a boat joke. Bro, stop giving me can these just, words. Can I tell you my the words it just gave me? iPad, iPad, plunger. I'm hitting reset. Well, it's the best I got. Ryan, how old's your kid? Two Wait, point eight. I'm excited to see your guys' jokes here. <clears throat> Me too. Oh, uh, for this I'm not. Buster. Have you ever tried catting? <laughs> That's when you are a cat. You, Justin! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How does he keep getting away with it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Marriage is a lot like cults. Oh. People will think you're crazy if you're in two of them. Oh, okay, huh. okay. I mean, right. that's yeah. fucking good, man. Yeah, right. Holy sure, shit. Sure. Your favorite joke cool. now. I, right. You know how hard it was to fight my millennial impulse to be like, anyone could forgive you for getting into one once, but if you get into one a second time, boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, dude, if I ever get married, it's gonna be my second marriage? That's so cringe. <laughs> that is, oh. I would not go to your wedding. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. That's messed up. I'll go to his first wedding, but it's already passed. Let's keep it going. Zoom call into his wedding. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll officiate over Zoom. <laughs> I paused your stream like 15 minutes ago, and this is just staring at me the whole fucking time. And I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. Hey, what, what is it? What? what, what, what? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're not left out, Chad. I'm literally doing the face right now that he posted in the, <laughs> in the Discord. I have more fears than than a two-year-old <laughs> at a fireworks display. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Then then. Then then. Then, then. Honestly, she wasn't afraid. She was just like, 
The fireworks started after like three hours of waiting. And then she was like, whoa, look at that. And I looked at her and she was like looking at a campfire behind us. And I was like, we waited so long for the fireworks. And she's like, there's a boat. And I was like, I know there's a boat. There's been boats the whole time. <laughs> Just, we were here for the fireworks. She's just cooler than you, dude. I hate it to was break very it cute, though. We told her like you can't have popcorn until the fireworks start, and as soon as they started, she ran back in the tent and got the popcorn. Did anybody get the um, nine-layer dip joke to beat? No. Okay. I don't know what. Because I, I was going to get the same ones as each other. I was going to say. I want my sex. I like my sex. Like I like my nine-layer dip. Beans on the bottom. All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to joke, man. It takes all my effort, man. Like, how do you think I get all these laughs? Like, <laughs> there's this nothing the... worse than making a I'm joke trying. and chat just spams point and laugh millennial. <laughs> yeah. It hurts so bad. At least they're not saying elder millennial. Oh, it's true though, I think. That's the worst one, man. I mean, you're an elder millennial. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might also be, I don't know. You're on the border, man. Yeah. No, no. I might be I'm, a I'm like in the dead center of millennial, man. I feel like I'm like there, you know? How old are you? 30? 27? What the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the youngest here anymore. You have to make fun of Chibli for that. I'm not making fun of you. I just thought you were 27. <laughs> No, you oh, didn't. Dude, I know. a minute is not long enough. <laughs> oh man, this. Oh, dude. Oh, all my, all my respect gone down. All my street cred lost, bro. I'm oh, no. not making it out of this one. I didn't even get to write something. My nickname is Vaccine because 62% of Americans get me. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's yeah, Google man. search history: uh, 100 minus. Uh, no, 38. I yours. What's 38 minus 100? What's. I just flipped yours. <laughs> I like, I like the, the, the attempt. The calculator. You stole it without stealing it. Mm, that's true. What? Yeah, oh. bro, get owned. Oh, it's oh close. yeah. It's close. I've successfully defended myself from the Riz King. Oh, it's man. Time to find out who rose to the top. I got no idea who won, honestly. He, oh we made God. it! He made it all the way back! <laughs> Holy! I don't Apple believe it. man. <laughs> Apollo. Turns out you only need one good joke and joke boat, and <laughs> just make sure that's well the round where you get done. all the points. He did it! I can't believe it. What a good two hours we all just played in this oh, game. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Good goodbye, gamers, and thank goodbye. you. Goodbye. Thank you for sustaining Jackbox goodbye. for another week. It's yep. Next week. Next week. See you there. For sure. For sure. No. Sorry, I was laughing because Chip posted his face apt picture in the Discord where he looks like a. I don't even know what to say. He just looks like a. He doesn't look right. <clears throat> I will send you over to her stream. Have a good weekend. I will see you on Monday. The day of Muns. Probably Olivia Munn's favorite. Olivia Munn, Chibli. We've got a star-studded cast at the rally. We've got folks. We have Chibli. We have Olivia Munn, the talented Olivia Munn, everybody. I found another name that you can say in the voice. Olivia Munn is here, yes. Olivia Wilde, no. Olivia Munn, my favorite. One of the best Olivia's alongside, sitting next to... Is that, Ch it's Chibli, Chibli. We love our Chiblis and our Olivia Munns people. <laughs> anyway, see you on Monday. The doubters are slurping tonight. That's a horse, right? I forgot. It has been a while since I saw that. Okay, that's horse. I always think, is that a horse or is that a dog? Because it can be both, honestly. It looks like a dog. It looks like a horse. That's just a normal picture of Dan. You know, I can see a little bit of Dan as well. Wait, what is the green guy? Wait, that's Daniel too? What the heck? Is that Dan? It's not Dan, right? It's someone else who looks like Dan, right?
That's not Dan, right? That's Squeaks? No, but, but it's Dan, Dan Koopas. It's not Squeaks Koopas. It's Dan. Then I'm so confused. Is that actually Dan? No, but it looks like Dan though. Can someone use the squeaks? Can someone use the squeaks? Give me those squeaks, please. Oh yeah, that's squeaks. Can you give me squeaks, please? Anyone? Anybody? No, I am, I'm losing my mind. That's Dan. Wait, hold on. Maybe not? Wait. Oh my gosh. Are they identical twins? Wait. <laughs> What's going on? Holy. What is that? That's Ryan. That's Ryan and the Ruka in the orange box. I took that photo. Oh my gosh. Shibli, you need to pay me half of your subscription profit by using that picture emote because I took that photo. Copyright by me. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a copyright strike, buddy. We've had this exact conversation before. Do we? Oh. <laughs> Do we? Chip said Anel allowed it. Too bad I took the photo. He should have asked me. Light mode user spotted confusing squeaks for Dan. I'm actually using dark mode. Joke's on you. But that green guy is Dan. Right? That's not Squeaks. That's Dan, right? It gotta be Dan. It's not Dan? Are you joking? That's Dan. The Squeaks emote, he was wearing headphones. This, he got nothing. He's showing his ears. It's 100% squeak? That's Dan! It doesn't look like Dan at all? It looks like Dan! Look! Look! Squeak's got mustache. The, the green, green person has no mustache. Dan usually has a hat on. You can see the hat? It cuts off on the, in the middle of his forehead. I feel, I feel like the whole chat is trying to lie, like, lie to my face. Are you, what is going on? Are you? People sometimes shave their mustache. It is not Dan. But that's Dan though. It is not. It's definitely Squeaks. Did you ask Dan? Can someone bring Dan here, please? <laughs> we need him urgently. Can someone bring Daniel? I know he's a busy man, but we have a matter that I need. We need to clear something out right now. Can we get a confirmation that is not Daniel? Because I feel like. I'm getting lied to. Doesn't Daniel have like a phone number? Go like, hey, text me. My phone number is this. Can you do, can you text him and ask if the Dan G Koopas is Squeaks and not Daniel? Just look at picture of Dan. I have picture of Dan in my slideshow. I see Daniel's face every 10 seconds. It's Dan Koopas, not Dan G. That is Dan G Koopas. Daniel, Dan Giesling, Dan G. That's why his emotes are Dan G, not Dang. I'm like, I'm like, it's not funny, guys. I'm just trying to figure out, but everyone's laughing. Why are you laughing? It's not his emote? Wait, what? It is his emote! <laughs> ah! 
I feel like I'm gonna I have to go to like mental hospital. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I don't I feel like th this is this is like the start of horror movie. I'm like, I'm not crazy. And everyone's like, yeah, you're crazy. I'm like, I'm not crazy though. And they're like, you're crazy. You have to come with us. But I'm not crazy. Hold on. I think I might be in Dan's Discord. I think. Wait, hold on. Maybe I am not. I'm going to DM him. Dan, I have a great question for you. You know your emote, Denji. What was it called? Den Denji Kupas. Is that you, or is that Squeaks? Please, I need to know ASAP. I feel like I am. Losing my mind. What is this? You hear another Dan Whoa, impression? spoilers! Chat? This is the run? Chat? Uh, raise your Dan G's? <gasps> what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe time to update the Koopa's emote, chat. It may be time to update the Koopa's emote. Is it time? The Diddy? Koopas. That may be a new Koopa. New Koopa's just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> new Koopa's just dropped. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Plush. It is in this squeaks. Oh my gosh. My hero. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hold. Hold, hold on. We found the source. We are good now. Phew. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> Let's go. Plush. My hero. 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 Holy. What the hell was that kid? What the hell? That's my first time seeing squeaks. I'm I'm very blessed. <laughs> New squeaks and pressure just dropped. What the hell was that chat? What the hell? That was pretty good, right? Well, hold on, let me just check again. I think that was pretty dang on point. Whoa, spoilers! Chat? This is the run, chat? Raise your Dan G's. <gasps> what the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They're just gonna watch this now and clip that audio. What the hell was that? There you go, Daniel. That's the clean, clean version for you. It's morbing time. Speaking outrageously. I eat some blood. My name's Dr. Michael Morbius. I practice my craft. Oh, I am not quite morbing. Oh, I am fast in bed. Sorry. <laughs>